I'm here with Cougar Athlete of the Week, Rashad Lofton. Rashad is from the football team here at Concordia. Rashad is the Athlete of the Week for not just the fantastic performance against Wisconsin Lutheran, but the overall fantastic year that he had for the Cougars. Rashad, before we talk about your senior season, tell everybody a little bit about yourself once again. Hi, I'm Rashad Lofton. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I played for Romulus High School, and my major is business management. Now, Rashad, first off, we got to say you tied the school record all time with Athletes of the Week in a season with three of them this year. So you have put on per impressive performances nonetheless all season long. What drove the success this season before we get into talking about your whole career? Well, as a kid, I've always had big dreams of just being successful with football. I've always, I've always just wanted to be that guy on the team that just led the team and just did the right things at all times. So that definitely played a big role. Now, you led the NAC in touchdown receptions with 16. You were second in catches with 62, second in reception yards with 966. Not to mention you were ranked nationally in the top 50 in total yards per game. I mean, saying it all came together at the right time for you, I think is kind of an understatement. Your senior season, you come out and do it all. I mean, what was the driving force? What kind of got you going? What, what worked? Well, as long as I've been here at this school, I've always made it like made up my mind to just try to be the best that I can be. And I've, I've always went back and reevaluated where I was and just tried to realize that that's not good enough and I can always strive for better. So that definitely played a role. And I just think more so my family, where I come from, it's not I don't come from a, you know, very successful family. And I just always wanted to be that guy that helped the family make it out and just make it out the struggle. Now, and you talk about progressing and how you've always kind of reevaluated. It's obvious looking at your all-time stats here, you evaluated after every season and continued to progress. And this year, it just, it all came together. And you had just the greatest success. Just looking at it, you're averaging 9.8 points per game for your team. I mean, talk to him about taking it on and wearing the weight of, and putting it on your shoulders. You seem willing to do that within your family, within this team. And I think that speaks to a lot about it, of you as a person. And where did you kind of get that drive from? Uh, it has to be from God. He just blessed me with my abilities. He blessed me with my willpower to just get up every day and just live another day and just go out and try to have the best day possible from start to finish. So I guess you can say God blessed me with that. Now, you have left a very lasting legacy here at Concordia in your four years playing football here. What is your kind of message? What do you want to leave behind? And what do you want people to remember Rashad Lofton as a, as a Concordia football player on and off the field? Mm, that's a great question. I want to be remembered as someone that was a great teammate on and off the field, someone that was a great leader on and off the field, someone that you could call whenever you needed them, someone you can look to for whether it's, you know, a, help, a helping hand or someone on the field where you could look to for that big play that's going to give the team the spark. So I just want to be remembered as a good person. And also, new co incoming freshmen are going to really look and see. They're going to see Rashad Lofton, see what he's done in his time here. People are want to strive to be Rashad Lofton and, uh, on and off the field because I've had many interactions with you. You're a fantastic person to just be around. What is your message to new incoming freshmen and the people still on the team about to be able to be successful, to be in the seat that you're in? The biggest message that I can share with the newcomers is the fact no matter what no one tells you, you can be and do the things that you want to do. You can always work for it and it's not going to come easy, but do not let anyone take you of your joy and your pride to go and work and be successful. Now, it's the last time, unfortunately, we're going to, going to get to talk to you. It's been a pleasure, Rashad. I've enjoyed watching you over the last four years here. Anybody that you would like to thank, anybody that you'd just like to give a shout-out to for the final time? Uh, I would like to thank my mom. She's been there since day one, you know, just even giving me birth, just giving, granting me the gift of life. I would like to thank my dad for just pure inspiration and just being in my life. I'd like to thank all of my family members because honestly I'm doing it for them. I'm trying to be successful for them. I would like to thank God. I would like to thank my teammates. I, lo I love all y'all boys and 
you know, I'm sad to leave, but I wish you all the best in the future. And I'd like to thank everyone else that supported me, everyone that believed in me. Everything I've done is for everyone else, so thank you all. Congratulations on a fantastic, very legacy-like career here at Concordia. God's richest blessings to you in the future, and hopefully we can see you around here on campus supporting the Cougars in the near future. Thank you.